Hi there, and welcome to the Evidently YouTube channel. My name is Yelena, and today I'm going to briefly explain what machine learning model monitoring is and why this even matters. Let's imagine that we have a machine learning model in production. Maybe it predicts the customers who are likely to churn, maybe it recommends some marketing offers, or optimizes some production process. Now we really care that this model delivers the business value it should. So for that, we need monitoring. We need to keep an eye on our model, understand if it works, and if it doesn't, detect issues and efficiently resolve them. This sounds pretty obvious, right? We have been doing and creating some sort of software applications and services for decades now, and there should be some easy way to set up our sort of default monitoring. But here's the thing. Machine learning system is more than just software. Of course, we still need to monitor things like uptime, memory utilization, speed of response. These are all the usual things that you keep an eye when you deploy a software service. But machine learning systems are made using data. First of all, we use some data to train the model. We selected or generated it to explain how things are to the model. And then the model continues to receive input data every time it has to generate the prediction. And many things can go wrong here. First of all, the data that the model receives can be wrong or broken. Maybe there is some upstream quality issue or there is some undocumented schema change or something like this. Then the model can receive some new data that it has not seen before that is very different from what the model has learned. For example, uh, you might see users coming from a different channel that have different behavior and the model does not know how exactly to react to them. And lastly, the patterns that the model has learned can also change. This is called concept drift, and actually we know from the very beginning that this is going to happen. The question is only when exactly. So we know that the model is going to deteriorate in time, and we will have to update it on new fresh data. So all these things require you to keep an eye on your model beyond just monitoring the software service, because if you only look at the software, it might still generate the response, but all sorts of failures that might happen are silent failures. We will not know that they actually occurred until we will uh, try to estimate the business KPI that our model should influence. Because of this, we need some special tools and processes to monitor our models in production. And there are a lot of complex questions here. For example, how do we uh, evaluate the quality of our models when we do not have the ground truth labels or the actual values yet? So we just generated the prediction and we want to understand if we can trust the model and act on these predictions. And for example, how do we know when to retrain the model and if retraining will even help? And after all, what is actually good and bad model? Because we know that they are non-deterministic, that they will make mistakes. So one outlier does not necessarily mean that the model is completely broken. So as an industry, we don't have yet uh, a lot of experience in creating production machine learning models. So we still have to establish this sort of best practices and find ways to reliably operate models in production. Let's sum up. Machine learning model monitoring is the process of continuously evaluating the performance of your models in production. We do this because we want to detect potential issues before they affect the business KPIs, so in advance. And if something happens, we want to efficiently understand the root cause and find ways to resolve this. And evidently, we are building open source tools to help with exactly this, so check it out on GitHub. And if this is something that you're looking to solve for your models, let's connect.